development. I've had some camera issues and some problems and cards, memory cards failing. Mm. Anyway, so in this episode, carry on. Paint on the walls. Okay, I've had a bit of a tidy up, but one big thing that wasn't filmed very well. I've got light, plenty of light. I can see what I'm doing. So I've put in six um, LED fluorescent tubes. So you're right in the corner of the workshop so you can actually see the tubes, but from the middle you sort of can't. But actually here, the shadow element is minimal. It's great, so you've got three sources of light. So the actual spread of light, it's not ridiculously bright, but we're gonna have work lights for what we're doing, so I'm very happy with that. I've still only won one socket at the minute, well, double socket, um, that's all I need for the moment. I've got power in here, I've got light, so I wanna carry on with painting. Uh, that's what this episode's gonna be. It's gonna be a lot of time lapse in. So I've gotta mask everything off, because I don't wanna get to white paint on all the wood. I'm not sure whether I'm going to sort of whitewash it or just emulsion it. Um, I've got the paint already. I'm not sure whether I'm gonna water it down or not. So next challenge, mask all the black off. Um, I'm gonna leave the floor. I'm gonna get carpet down um, at some point. I've been costing that up. Uh, massive variation in costs. Probably use like heavy duty carpet tiles. Uh, they seem to be the best value. But let's get masking get some paint on the walls and get this thing moving along. Also, while you're here, like and subscribe, hit that like button. Um, I'm slowly getting a little bit of a following. I'm not exactly uh, Peter McKinnon type sort of followed, but uh, people are slowly tagging along and I'm getting some nice comments, some peculiar comments. Uh, but uh, yeah, by all means, ask any questions. Um, as you can probably tell, I don't know what I'm doing but uh, I'm figuring this things out. I'm getting some quite good input. Some people have typed in some quite interesting stuff um, and some stuff that I haven't thought of, um, but bits and bobs. Like when I was doing the wiring, um, I hadn't put a separate fuse, a separate trip for the lighting to the sockets where it's split. It has one now, so uh, that's cool. Um, but yeah, I'm, I'm really enjoying this series. Hopefully you are. I know they're a bit of a long-winded set of videos, but uh, there's no real way of cutting these down. Um, it is what it is. I'm doing a lot of work. It's taking a lot of time. So uh, sure. But anyway, hit the bell button and uh, keep up. And there will be other stuff. This is going to carry on building. So uh, catch you in a bit. Right, so I've masked off best I can. I've not done the roof beams, many of them, because my back's killing me and it's the reaching up, but I'm not painting up there yet. And I'm gonna try and avoid them. Not sure whether I'm gonna paint the ceiling yet or what color. Um, so walls first. So I've got all these taped off. Um, I'm just using a B&Q uh, Brilliant White Matte Emulsion. It's a kitchen one, so it's one of the white ones. Uh, it'll also be a bit sturdier for this. But I'm not sure how thick it is. So I'm going to give it a go. It's just a cheap B&Q one. But let's see how it goes on the walls. I've got a bit of a tough bit here with some black. So that's quite thick. Yeah, I think we'll stick with that. Cool. Right then. Can you actually see that? I've just realised you completely can't see the bit I've just painted. <laughs> That's a really good demonstration, Jonas. So it's quite thick. Um, it's going on quite nicely. I'm not sure I might roll with it, actually. We will see, but for start here, I've got some nasty black marks here. And that's one of the reasons I want to paint it, because of the marks on the wood. But if I just give it a nice, I don't even think it's going to take one simple little coat and that'll keep the wood texture. What do you think? I don't know why I'm asking you, this is pre-recorded, but I reckon that'll work. So uh, roll on a lot of time lapses while I paint this whole blooming thing. Don't reckon I've got enough paint, but it's only a trip to B&Q, isn't it? So, uh, 
See you in a bit. Paintbrush time. So, I think you can quite clearly see the difference now. Um, it's a lot brighter. It's literally just a whitewash. Um, it goes on, you can brush it quite thin, because I still want it to look like wood. Um, but I think it's going on quite nicely. I'm going to grab a roller. I'm doing this bit first, because this is the mo di most difficult, because it's quite tight. Getting in between all of the joints is a bit of a pain, especially on the edges. Um, but I think when it comes to the bigger areas, it'll be a bit easier. I'm going to go and grab a roller, because it might be a bit easier with a roller. But you might be asking, hang on a minute, on your previous video when you did the outside paint, you used a spray gun. I did. But in here, the spray gun is sort of an all or nothing. Um, it's fairly controllable, but I've got all the black down. I'd have to mask everything off perfectly, and especially those beams at the top. <sighs> so, uh, nah, um, I'm just going to leave that. Um, I'll paint it with a roller and a uh, paintbrush because uh, it'll be a little bit easier, I think. Um, I'm going to get some on the floor, but it's a working floor. I painted it black for a reason. Um, I could always repaint it, but I'm going to put carpet down. So, I think that looks loads better than that. So, uh, well, a bit late now. going to carry on. So, see you in a minute. Long minute. It's going to take ages. That's a lot of painting, and it was exactly one five litre tub of paint. <laughs> it's a bit thin, um, but that's what I wanted. I still want you to be able to see the wood. But how much brighter is it in here now? Now I've got lights, now I've got walls painted. Not sure about the ceilings. I ran out of paint to do that anyway, but I'm not sure if I want them white. I know if I paint them dark, it'll bring the room in, but, or mm, leave them natural. Not sure. But anyway, that's that done. So. End of today. But one more thing to do. Got a box in the corner there. I've got a couple of tube oil heaters, uh, mainly to keep the um, damp out, keep the, um, stop it freezing in here. Um, the plan is that I put one on this side, one on that side. I haven't put enough sockets in yet. Um, so what I'm going to do is I'm just going to put the one on this side just to, well, one, see how it copes, um, but also just keep, I've got the paint drying. It's actually quite warm. We'll be on, we're on 10 degrees today. So it's not exactly freezing. Um, I've been quite hot doing this, but what I want to do is I want to put one in to see how effective it is. So that's my last job for the night. And then I'm done. I'm going to have a rest and I'll be back at it the next day. So, uh, I've had I'm quite pleased with that. I'm pleased with how this looks. It was a lot of effort to paint this, uh, but I'm glad we did it. Especially now taking the tape off and you've got the black and white. I quite like the, the contrast. So let's go and see what we've got with these heaters. These are just of Amazon. There's tons of different types, tons of different sizes. Let's have a look what we've got in one of these. If I can get in the box. 
Oh, I think it's almost sideways open one. Yeah. There we go. Don't think you're quite supposed to pull it out like that, but hey-ho. Ta-da! Right. Oops. Screws and little mounts. Looks like a fluorescent tube, doesn't it? So, it's got a little digital display. I quite like this one because a lot of them don't really tell you what's going on. So, uh, they're cool. Um, I'm guessing you can open, mount it either way up. I know you can't mount them like that. Some of them you can, but these ones you can't. Uh, so, uh, let's wire this in. Well, not wire in. Mount it up and see what it gives us. Standard 13 amp plug on the end, fused, which is good because it's a heater. I probably will end up moving this. But this is purely, one, to see how it functions, and two, so I can get my paint dry. So, little mounts. I need a small, smaller screwdriver bit. Then again, just about. Doesn't seem like the strongest plastic, so be a bit gentle with it. There. That's quite neat actually. And then these clamp it together. Right. Not sure. We'll leave it going. Whew. A successful day. I have a heater. I'm not sure if this one's staying. It hasn't got a frost function, which is what I really, really wanted in here. So whether that be an extra heater, but it's given off some good heat and it's small and compact, it's out of the way. So uh, with two of those in here, I think probably be okay. So paint-wise, I'm done other than I've got white paint everywhere and pulling the tape off, I've pulled off some little bits of wood. So I need to touch up the black paint. I also still need to paint the window frames, but I can do that now because the, uh, I only tacked them in because I wanted to leave the cling film on the um, windows uh, because I was, I was painting. I'm gonna get paint, I've got paint everywhere. So uh, I wanna get the heat, uh, heaters in because I wanna start, um, I want the floor to be nice and dry. There was a little bit of damp in here the other day. I think though, there was a hole in one of the wall boards and I think water's come through that because it's damp over there. So uh, I can't say that it's come up. We have had a lot of torrential rain though, so cool. But also on the rain side of things, I still need to put guttering on here. So uh, that's gonna help, um, I'm gonna do that. But carpet very soon, because it's quite echo in here. That'll kill the, uh, a lot of the echo, but also make it feel a lot more cozy in here, a lot warmer and a lot more friendly and then start moving my wife's stuff in, start moving my stuff in, and we can get doing. So, oh, that's red hot, that's really good. So, I'll leave that going. So, let's see what it does tomorrow. So, see you tomorrow. <laughs>